How often do you try something new? The funny thing with trying new things is that we very rarely regret it, but we don't do it very often. Sometimes doing new things is hard, but sometimes it's just simply doing something that you usually do, but in a slightly different way. This was one of those grey days, those grey days that are slightly blue. Usually that would bother me, but as you might have guessed, today I was going to be trying something new. The funny thing is with Snowdonia is that while the mountains themselves are beautiful, everything around them feels like a relic from a different time, a more industrial time. In fact, when I imagine the dwarven mines from Lord of the Rings, I kind of imagine Snowdonia. Sometimes I feel like the Welsh also dug too deep. On this trip, I was curious to start looking inward rather than outward on my landscape photography trips. So I found a rock and I decided I wanted to photograph everything that was interesting on that rock. I know that kind of sounds boring, but when you look really, really close, some things are beautiful. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently on this trip. Usually on these trips up, there's not a lot of photos to be had, but I did bring my macro lens with me. When you start to look closely at just the things living on this rock, you realize that it's all just as beautiful as the wider landscape that I'm used to photographing. If it's not obvious, this isn't one photo, this is an arrangement of photos of everything that I found interesting on that rock. This trip wasn't just about macro photography, but I did notice how I started looking at everything totally differently. I felt a new spark like a whole world of photography had just opened itself up. So I started looking around for even more interesting things. And before I moved on to the wider landscapes, I took a final look at the mini landscapes that I very rarely see. Now I understand that this is simply macro photography, but usually I plan macro photography. I understand what I'm going to be shooting. Whereas in this case, this was more of a search. And I think that's what made it feel exciting. Honestly, there are some wild things uh, when you look really, really closely. Um, particularly that last shot I took. Uh, you can't see it yet, but I'll put it on the screen. It looks wild. So with those photos that I put up on the screen, you can get a pretty good idea from it on YouTube, but if you really want to take a closer look at those photos and all my other photos, then I think you're going to want to hear about the sponsor of this video. I post everything that I take on these YouTube trips to my Vero account. Vero is a social media for all sorts of people, but I personally think it's great for photographers, which is why I post my photography there. One of the reasons I use Vero to post my photos is that all you have to do is find the photo. If you tap it, it will show the photo in full resolution so you can zoom in. And there's two reasons why I like that. Number one, it means that people can have a real good look at my photos. And number two, it means that I know people can zoom right into my photos. So I work much, much harder to get my images sharp. So it's great for viewing photos, but if you're a photographer looking for somewhere to put your photos, I also think it's a great place for photographers as well. It has a great community, and this is mainly because they recently did loads of good things for the photography community. So if you want to zoom right into my photos, then you can click the link in the description and have a look at all my photos. And if you decide to fire up an account yourself, make sure you come say hi. Anyway, let's go take some more photos. I'm on a mountain high up on the western side of the Ogwen Valley. It looks out over Trufan and many other mountains that I struggle to pronounce correctly. The weather that day was one of those, if you know, you know. I was starting to wonder whether I should just turn back. That constant wind is like a stone in your shoe. You can take it, but over time, it gets more and more irritating. I'm sure that many other photographers can relate that we get our energy from things we see with our eyes. So as soon as I saw the valley below me, all of those feelings of negativity went away. I 
I think at this point I have to note that tunnel vision you get as a photographer. The world could be falling around you, and you're simply focused on the tiny details. Where are all the rocks? Where's the light coming from? Where's the peak of the mountain? What's in the foreground? All of these tiny things that take up almost your entire concentration. I searched for a long time. I won't lie, I found it difficult to compose this location. Okay, uh, this is too wide, I think. I might try something. I'm, I think I'm gonna borrow your lens and then if that doesn't work, I'll go back to the 14. Yours is a 16 to 35, by the way. Sometimes you just have to think, what's the best version of this that I can find? I think that's kind of like, the shot, I think that's the one that I'll go for. It's kind of hard to say really. Um, there's a lot of things I wish were a bit different, but that's kind of the shot. So let's put it up. So, uh, currently in this uh, little shelter at the top of this mountain to get out of the wind because it's impossible to talk to you guys because it's windy. Um, the weather is way moodier than I was planning. I thought maybe we'd have a little bit clearer skies. The, the rain's going to close in in about three hours. So we're doing okay, but just checking in really, uh, just to see. <laughs> Because this is how it goes, you know. It looks easy, but this is how it goes making videos on mountains. There's a potential selfie in a second, so maybe we'll take a selfie. That's probably what we'll do. Here's a bit of a tip. If you're taking a picture of yourself, particularly with a long lens like this 90mm, instead of using the timer mode, use interval mode, and it will just take pictures every couple of seconds. That way, you know you're definitely going to get a whole bunch of shots. You're probably thinking that this is the social media world that we live in today, but I promise you that old man Johnny Keeley will appreciate these photos long after social media has made its impact on the planet. And honestly, there's no one there to take photos for me. I was drawn to this style because there's actually no fence. I thought it'd be kind of funny. For me, there's always this point on the mountain where I think to myself, even if I see a unicorn, I'm not taking any more photos. I'm done. I'm getting off the mountain. I recently launched a new preset pack. If anyone wants to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. And if you have a favorite place that you like to photograph that you think I should visit, let me know in the comments. I have a long list, but more can't hurt, right? <laughs>